Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're asked to evaluate this definite integral of an integral from negative 4 to 9 of 1 over the cube root 2x plus 9 squared. Now, our rules for integration basically involve power of x. If there's a number at front, it stays at front, and we increase the power and divide by the new power. Remember, there's a plus c. If there's numbers here, we'll do a subtraction process to get a number at the end of it. We don't need this constant of integration. Um, if we have a linear expression, bx plus c, then we use the same rule, the a stays at the front, we increase the index, divide by the new index, but the coefficient of x in here, we divide by it. So that's the only uh, alteration. It's sort of like a reverse, reverse chain rule, limited reverse chain rule, but this can only be a linear expression. Here we have our 2x plus 9 doing that. So this 2 in here would have to divide by as a wee adjustment there. So let's first of all get this expression in ter into a power form. And we're looking at the cube root of something squared. And remember powers, I, I like to think of uh, the Irish power to the power 3 where we've got a root and a tree. The power comes into the tree through the leaves and the light at the top. So a root would be at the bottom. In this case, it's the cube root. And the power would be at the top. In this case, it's power 2. So it's 2 thirds. We're talking about 1 over three, uh, 2x plus 9 to the power 2 thirds. Now, that's down at the bottom of a fraction. We have to bring it up into the daylight. So this two-thirds, the whole expression, if you move up to the top, and this positive two-thirds would become negative two-thirds. And remember, that's coming from the result that uh, something, say, x to the power of negative n is 1 over x to the positive n. This can move up so long as the index changes sign. If it was x to the negative n, it moves up and becomes x to the positive n. So that's what's going on there. So we've got a 2x plus 9, a linear expression raised to power. That's covered by this, and there is no number at the front. So we do our usual uh, square brackets now because... Uh, it's a definite integral, and we're going to plug in values negative 4 and 9. So, the integration rule tells us to increase that power by 1. Now, if you add 1, add 3 thirds to negative 2 thirds, you'll get 1 third. And divide by the new index. Now, it's not an x that's in there, it's a linear expression, it's 2x plus 9, so the coefficient of x, the 2, appears at the bottom. We have to divide by that 2. And that's us completed uh, that stage of the proceedings. Let's make a bit of room for the rest of the calculation. So, tidying this up a wee bit... What is 2x plus 9 to the third? Well, that's the cube root. Remember the power tree that we had here, the Irish power. Roots at the bottom, power at the top. So roots at the bottom, that's the cube root, power 1. So it's just the cube root raising something to the power 1. has no effect, so that's the cube root. On the bottom we have a divide by 2 thirds. And if we multiply top and bottom by 3, that 3 disappears and the 3 appears at the top. And there's the 2 at the bottom. Well, we turn the fraction upside down and multiply. So there would be a 3 at the top 
and a 2 at the bod. And we're now in a position where we can plug in these values. Now remember what happens now is that we evaluate this expression first of all when x is 9 and then when x is negative 4 and subtract the results. So this bracket is replacing x by 9, this bracket replacing x by negative 4. So we have 3 times the cube root of 2 nines are 18 plus another 9 is 27. Now negative 4 goes in. We've got 3 times the cube root of twice negative 4 is negative 8 plus 9 is 1. And that's what we've now to calculate. Fortunately, these cube roots work out exactly. The cube root of 27 is 3. And 3 threes are 9, so we've got 9 over 2. Minus the cube root of 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 over 2. So we've got 9 halves. Take away 3 halves. We'll have 6 halves. Final answer is 3. So this definite integral, when it's evaluated, has a value of 3. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and thanks for watching this video.